Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video in today's video. It's not too hard to tell what we're at. Got Nix in here, I've got the tanker here ready to go. Tend to spread slurry early on until after first cut's done. It'd be fertilizer for the first cut. But the tank is full full, so we have to empty it. Because it's only February, so there's still March, April, two months. So we have to drop it a wee bit, and that's what we'll be at in today's video. I'm gonna put a wee bit of oil into this pump on the tanker. Alright, oil in, time to get a load, filled and spread. Consistency, the same stuff from the first load to the last load because it's um, mixed and the water and the slurry isn't separate. So we're just filling the second load. Um, there's some spread with on this tanker, it is barely big. So, uh, it's what time is it? It's 25 past three. So, get this load filled and then get it out. this load. Right, we're coming in a different gate. Ah. Hope I'm not the one closing that gate. I just want to keep that open. It'll have to be a big stone. Back into the tractor. To be under more pressure than usual. Get this empty because there's rain coming tomorrow morning, so early like five o'clock. So get in through this gate. lined up. It's not handy coming in that way. They're nearly getting stuck. So I 
got the sun going. Uh, I'll pull out the camera. Right, filling the fourth load. Yeah, the camera died. That's why you got no footage of the third. And also the pressure clock up there. I think it's a pressure clock. The needle will flick down below the zero down to minus one. If you can see that there. And yeah, the clock. Just coming up in the glass. because it changes the noise so we get out and we get spreading again working that driving in the same spot just like any time of the year really it can be just get sticky Might be six tank. Moving on to the second field. Right, field's handy enough to get to. It's just straight across the lane from this field that we're after doing. has a shear pin in it, so you can't be turning tight with the shear pin.
burning. Take out the mixer now. That's mixer out. Um, <coughs> I yeah, clean down there so pull the pipe back in and just need two loads to finish off that bit that we done yesterday evening. So pull this pipe back in. So go ahead, up there and then that, so then there'll be, well, second last because we're still going to leave the mat as well, but I think we're leaving that to we'll see if this bit of a mess will dry itself out. But, the tank is well down there. Uh, that's not a very deep tank, I don't think. I think the pipe's actually on the bottom, so it's not that deep. Mm, yeah. So it's well done. Um, that was the point of doing it on the slurry, so shouldn't need fertilizer or as much. This is kind of we where we were spreading. It's fairly watery. We got. Good bit of rain last night, so if we look out here, it should be washed off. Washed a good bit down now already. And it wouldn't have got a big chance to dry on to the leaves. So that was kind of ideal time to go and spread. Now there is a bit but there's gonna be a good bit of that that has been washed down already not right onto the leaves so you're getting more benefit out of it so yeah go back across here so you can see the difference between that stuff it's only been spread and this out here so this wasn't that green, so uh, a week or two we should see this starting to green up and get growing. Then we might be letting a couple of heifers out onto it. That should get the grass growing, hopefully. That's that bit of slurry out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below any questions you have. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.